Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about the device I have here, which is the Verify Bed Bug Detector created by FMC. And what it is, is it's an active bed bug monitor or detector, depending on what term you want to use, um, that you can put in place that will actually release attractants to bring bed bugs to it. And so what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about how the device works and then some of the things that you need to, to know in regards to uh, having somebody come in and set these. And so as I said, it's the Verify. Um, and the first thing that you need to know is that this is a device that can only be installed and used by your pest control professional. And so if you're interested in setting this, you really need to contact your local pest control providers and see if they offer uh, the Verify in terms of installing it in your home and have them come out and do so. Um, I didn't want people to go out and start looking for it and realize they can't find it or whatever the case may be. So you have to contact your local pest control provider. Now, in regards to how this works, and so what you have here is you have the actual unit itself. You have the holster that uh, this goes into. And what's going to happen is, is here you have the CO2 booster, or carbon dioxide booster, that releases carbon dioxide for about 24 hours after it's activated. And here you have your lure that has attractants that will also bring bed bugs to it. And this will actually last 90 days. And so, what let's say your pest control provider is going to come do, they're going to come install the unit, activate the different uh, attractants, and bed bugs are going to come to it, possibly climb up the wall, and then go into this pitfall, and then you'll be able to see the bed bugs sitting in here, or possibly hide in this harborage back here and get in these little cracks and crevices and you can see them in here. Now just so that you know, there's nothing that's going to keep the bed bugs in this harborage. They could walk off. If they do, hopefully they go into the pitfall. And so, remember, one, 24 hours and 90 days in regards to the attractants. And so, what you're going to want to do is if you, you know, have it installed inside your home, you're going to have people come out and there's really two things that you need to consider. Um, you could adhere it with the adhesive trap uh, he adhesive tape, excuse me, um, against the wall, put the mattress up against it to create a natural bridge from the mattress to the device, and that is typically how uh, FMC, at least at this point, has recommended using the device, creating that natural bridge to the device for the bugs to go in and walk in. How we've been using it in our own test, and I'm going to flip the bed up real quick to show you, is we've actually been taking them and putting two under each bed. One at the foot and one at the head. And just leaving them on the floor just like you see and the bugs will come to it, walk up and fall in those different de uh, devices we talked about before, different to the harborage and the pitfall. Um, you know, obviously if you could attach it to something so you can't remove it and, walk, and you walk away with it, that's ideal. Um, but we have shown in our pre uh, preliminary tests that doing it this way, we have detected four out of five low level or very, very simple uh, bed bug infestations. And so the device is showing a lot of promise in the field right now. Um, and so that's basically how it's used. And so you're going to activate that CO2 booster, activate the lure, and you know come back, let's say, anywhere from three to seven days after it's installed. That's at least what we've been doing in our tests. And see if bed bugs are present inside of it. And then you could keep that lure active for 90 days, replace every 90 days, and let's say you're a frequent business traveler that's concerned about bed bugs, maybe you replace that lure every 90 days and have uh, the pest control company uh, install another CO2 booster every 90 days as well and, and inspect it every, you know, every three months. Um, and so that's just one way to use it. Um, now, in regards to, to the monitor itself, like I said, you're going to need to contact your local pest control provider and see what they're recommending. There's really no defined way at this point to absolutely use this device. There's a lot of different ways that you can use it in a lot of different places. We're all still trying to figure out the best ways to use the device. The one thing we do know is that research has shown that it will activate bed bugs from within five feet. And so wherever you have this device, you want to draw a five-foot radius, and that's typically where it's going to bring bed bugs to it from. And so that's what you want to keep in mind. That's what your pest control company wants to keep in mind when it's installing the device. Use that five-foot radius rule, um, and that will kind of help you identify where the best place is and how many you need to set. And so that's more or less the, the verified bed bug detector by FMC. Um, just some basic information for you to understand how it works. Um, and some things that you can consider when you're talking to your pest control company that uh, offers it in regards to how to install it in your house and how many units to put in place. Um, if you have any questions about this unit, you can contact me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.